Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing a bit of an unboxing. We got the Solo Smart Drone, the 3DR Solo. So, uh, I was checking out Drone Worship the other day, and, uh, you know, he's got one of these. And after I listened to him for a while, it started to make a lot of sense. Now, I hadn't been a big fan of 3DR Solo for a couple different reasons, and I'll talk about those in a minute. But I tell you what. Let's go ahead first get this out of the box because uh, I'm really not going to be able to open it up on the bench. The box is surprisingly big, so uh, I'm going to take the pieces out, get it back on the bench, and then we'll take a look at it. So let's cut over to that. So this is interesting. It comes in sort of its own carrying case, so it has this canvas handle uh, around this um, shell this cardboard shell but it's uh not too bad i mean it's not uh i call it high class or anything but uh it's interesting so uh, you can use it to transport it a field and voila there it is there is the 3dr this is a pretty good sized bird i am surprised to say the least so uh oops sorry bumped you guys let's uh Let's see if we can take a few of the things out. So we've got the copter. We've got some kind of charger. We've got another power cable. We've got a box of goodies here. And we're out of space on the table. Very nicely packaged. we got the remote controller, which uh, feels good. Um, I don't know, this kind of moves around, but it looks like it's got a screw to tighten it. Uh, the controller really feels good. Uh, small antennas, I'm surprised. HDMI output, which this is really interesting. Guys, I might be really impressed here. I'm just trying to balance everything while I get this off so we can look at it. Alright, so let's move this out of the way. So we've got the controller over here. We've got these couple boxes of things. And... Uh, so these are sealed, so what kind of magic could be in here? Again, I'm surprised at how big this guy is. I know Drone Worship was mentioning his is pretty big. So here's props, and here's some other sort of... Well, this looks like a European charger, and so they must uh, have uh, added a U.S. This is a U.S. version of it. So silver props, black props, and some kind of instructions here. Let's take a look at those. Um, Let's set the props aside for a second. That's what's in there. And then, uh, I'm really wondering what version GPS, if this has a Rev A or B. Um, some more books and a charging power supply. But this does have the um, European, but they've put a US in the box, and so it's got a charger now. I have, I, it hasn't come yet, I've ordered another battery, actually I was surprised, this thing came from Amazon in one day, folks, one day, um, I was an Amazon Prime member, I, I was shocked, I ordered this yesterday, and it's here today, wow, so anyways, uh, let's talk about this a little bit, so, now, one of the things that I went and ordered, this, wow, this thing is big, bigger than I expected, so I want to flip this over. So this does not have the gimbal. So as you see, this has a GoPro mount on it for a GoPro camera. And this is exactly what I wanted. Um, because you guys might remember, I bought the Cheerson a while back. And I was, was really disappointed with the Cheerson. And so, I'm going to take this off there. And so, uh, you know, because I want to be able to fly my, my 360 degree camera. And takes a GoPro style mount, doesn't use a gimbal, and I want to get 360 degree video. And this is just too cool because it's got an HDMI uh, input to plug into a camera, and then it's got this uh, bay section here. Now, what wasn't clear, and I want to cover it in this video, is this does have an anti jello, as I shake you guys, sorry. Um, this does have an anti jello uh, setup, but it's recessed into the copter. So this uh, compartment bay here um, is a recessed version of this. So instead of like most copters where this sticks on the outside, this actually sticks on the inside. So kind of cool. And then it's got an opening. So let's see about putting the 360 degree camera and see what that kind of looks like on here. 
Okay, so we've got the 360, actually this is a 270 degree camera. So the HDMI plug does fit in here. It's rather a snug fit. So I think it's going to have uh, some, you know, add some jelloing into it because I had to really uh, stretch it. It's got a nice downward glance, so uh, the image should be pretty good. And actually, I might even tilt it back a little bit more. Uh, so as it's flying, it's kind of getting the, you know, downward-looking downward angle. I'll spit that out. And when it sits on the ground, it does clear it. So, now the question is going to be, that will this send video? I don't know. That's You have to tune in for another video. But you can kind of see how this looks. So this is perfect for what I was looking for. Now, one of the things I've also read, especially with some mods, this thing is pretty pretty solid from a reliability standpoint. Um, I think they've overcome, or at least that's what I've been seeing on the internet, they've overcome a lot of their problems uh, with the mechanics of this. And it's rather open source, so it's kind of basic in concept. So, um, you know, again, I think it's using an APM controller, an APM light controller. Um, GPS is in this unit. It comes with a rather sizable battery. Uh, very impressive, actually. Uh, so it fits in here, locks in, obviously the props. Now, one of the things that's kind of turned me off in the past um, with the Solo is its looks. It's really not an iconic looking drone being its configuration. But I think this probably might actually add to the uh, nuance of it the more I started thinking about it. So, uh, you know, and again... Um, Looking at the configuration of the motors, it's more of an H shape than it is an X shape. So I'm really interested to see. And also the um, landing gear kind of is non-classic uh, DJI. So, um, but still, all in all, and it's kind of interesting the vent holes it has down here at the bottom. And apparently this is another type of some kind of service bay that you can add things to. So the, their thinking, I think, was actually fairly good. Now the question is, is how will this work? I'm going to try flying it first before I do the GPS mod. Now, one of the things on the GPS mod, I've been looking at a lot of things on the, the Internet. And one of the problems, I don't think it's um, shorting out or anything like that. Because if it shorted out, it just simply wouldn't work. Uh, I think what happens is it's, it's, it's too close yet too far from the electronics. So it's causing cavitation. Uh, because most of the other GPS shielding I've seen is right tight up against... Uh, the electronics so there isn't really room for it to cavitate so because what happens at higher frequencies when when radio waves come in and they hit something they want to bounce around and if you create a cavity they want to bounce around in that cavity and as they bounce back out of that cavity they hit other waves coming in and think about it as a parabolic dish basically and so what happens is some of those uh, cavitated uh, waves actually uh, interfere with uh, the other waves coming directly down on the receiver and I think that's part of the problem and that's why uh, if you see a lot of people put the thicker cardboard because even a very thin piece of cardboard or electrical tape should work uh, or the 3D printed piece actually increases the cavity area and there's less going to be less cavitation at the higher frequencies which you'll see on GPS. So that's what I'm thinking. If you're a microwave engineer out there and you know for sure let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear about it. Many, many moons ago, I used to be one, so I know a bit about it. Anyways, back to the copter. So, the controller is um, also pretty sharp. Okay, so one of the other pieces of interest, which won't be of much interest to me, uh, is this uh, control for the camera angle. I really like this, rather than the knob. It's got actually sort of a flipper for it, and so that's pretty cool. Uh, the antennas seem to be shorter, more in a 5.8 range, and as I mentioned before, it does have an HDMI output, which is really cool. So you can take this to a pair of goggles, or HDMI goggles, I think, pretty easy. So I'm going to remove this. Um, the controller is pretty straightforward, flight options, and uh, I like the sticks. The feeling is good in my hands. Uh, I like the, the holder. Uh, I think it would be hard to get a big tablet in here, so larger size phone is going to be the max unless you 3D print or make some kind of modification for this, which is okay because I'm going to use the Galaxy uh, 5 with this uh, like I do the other ones. So it's got the lanyard uh, here, so it's got fly, hold for power, pause, air brake, that's interesting. 
And then again, it's got a little bit of a, a status screen here, which I like, so you don't have to depend so much on the phone. So I really like that combination. Now, the big catch in all this is this was $229. $229 for this. Um, now, yeah, I didn't get a gimbal, but again, I really didn't want a gimbal because this is what I wanted to use. And the thing is, if you're just wanting to get into droning and stuff like that, you know, you can live without a gimbal, let me clue you folks. Uh, because actually, in a way, I find it a little bit more fun to shoot without a gimbal. You know, what you know, hobbyist flight video and everything, it gives you more of the perspective of the flight than it does this smoothed out, you know, panoramic transitions, cinematography, whatever. So, again, if you're going to do that, it's nice, and I, I do do some of that, and I do like that. But, again, on this guy, I want to shoot 360 video. So... I think this is going to be a great bird for 360 video. And this is a rather heavy camera because the glass lens is pretty darn big on this guy. So, again, uh, and, and uh, the feet, you know, are plenty high enough. Now, I know there's a lot of 3D printed feet out here to extend this. Uh, and I may do that in the future. But right now, again, this, this very easily clears it with this 3D camera. Uh, 3D, I keep calling it 3D camera. 360 camera. So, anyways... You'll have to check back, see how I make out with this, and see if the video works and all that other good stuff. Uh, anyways, just want to do a boxing, unboxing. I want to share this. I'll have links below down. Again, two two twenty nine. I couldn't pass it up. Uh, you know, I'm not sure the status of the company. Uh, some people have said they've gone out of business. Some people say they partnered with DJI. Some people say a lot of different things. So I really don't know. Um, so I did buy an extra battery uh, with this. And if I really like it, I'll probably buy a third. The batteries are under 50 bucks. So unlike Phantom, uh, where they're, you know, basically 100 bucks, this battery is about the equivalent of the cost of a Spark battery. So, um you can get a few of them and get some pretty good flight times. You know, I've heard a lot of rumors on the flight times on this being anywhere from, I don't know, 8 minutes to 15 minutes. I guess I'll just have to see. Again, for 229 how can you go wrong? So, anyways, I'm giving this guy a big thumbs up. Also, uh, subscribe over there. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. If you got a solo, let me know down below what you think of it. Uh, or have you made mods to it? Let me know about the mods you've made. I'd love to hear about it. So again, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.